I love push-ups. Many of us have performed thousands and thousands of push-ups, and we all know that it can be very beneficial. But we need to be sure that we train ourselves to do good quality. We're going to go over some of the areas where people break down and actually might cause more harm than good, and how to train to be able to do a good quality push-up. Okay, some of the common concerns, especially if you're a coach and you're with children out on the field, you'll definitely see these issues occur. Um, forward head, so the head drops down like that, the back sags, the elbows bend. Often even um, in the elderly population that people tend to have their hands rotated in like this, so internally rotating the shoulders. Now to just address some of these issues, First of all, if you have bad form like that, if your shoulders are rotated in your back, is saying you know, your head is down and your upper back's rounded, and you do a push-up, you're not doing yourself a favor. <laughs> so let's figure out how we can get ourselves in a good position before we start. So obviously the thing is to do a push-up hold or a plank hold position. So I'll just kind of go over that one quickly. Fingers are slightly angled out, shoulders down from the ears, straight in the arms. Externally rotate the shoulders, so the eye of the elbow, I like to say about a 45 degree angle. Sometimes children will be hyperextended, so their elbows will rotate too far. So I would say, excuse me for this view, but I like this kind of angle, about a 45, depending on the person. However, the shoulders should be not internally rotated, but rather externally rotated. To firm up the serratus anterior, to stabilize the lats will hold on, and you'll get better core support. With regards to the lower back, the lumbar spine, obviously just engage the glutes, slightly tuck the pelvis, and then, so what I would do to train a good push-up is this. Hold this 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, up to maybe five minutes, but just holding that position so your body, the muscles will strengthen, the tendons will hold the joints in place, such that when you do a good push-up, you'll have good form at the top. So this would be end range, the top of the push-up. Next the bottom of the push-up. Now this is much more challenging. To get into position, I like to have the knees down, so you're in your like, just knee down position. Come down to the low push-up, keep the elbows slightly tucked, hold there, curl the toes, lift the knees. Tuck the elbows and tuck the pelvis, and you'll feel your core fully engage, so that when you change direction, you'll have all the joints, the shoulder blades will stay in position. What often happens at the bottom, people don't have sufficient core strength and the shoulder blades pop off and you'll see the shoulder blades separate from the rib cage. But when you hold this position here, let's say 30 seconds, you'll feel the shoulder blades firm up on the rib cage so that when you extend, the scapula and core will hold the torso, the hips and the ribs in position. Thanks a lot. Have fun, give it a try. I'm Uttara. Enjoy our Zoom classes and my other videos. And Happy New Year.